Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a full face testing new makeup. It's been a while and I've got some new stuff. Also, I've been avoiding filming for the past few days because I've been dealing with this like mountain that decided to move into my face. But just like the one I had up here, I'm going to be working on fading that as well. So don't worry about it. It's going to be gone in a couple months, okay? So anyways, I got a new product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their Magic Serum, which is meant to go along with the Magic Cream, of course. This is more skincare, so I haven't put any serums or like moisturizers on yet. I'm gonna do it with you guys. But this is meant to be like an anti-aging, hydrating. It says it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles by 34% and firm the appearance of skin by 49%. I do kind of wish that rather than all of these claims of like reduced wrinkles, firmer, tighter skin, I wish they kind of focused on what ingredients is doing that for the serum do you know what i mean i would have to look it up on the website to kind of find out what ingredients is going to give me the firmer tighter skin because it doesn't really say on the box seems to be soaking in really well also by the way guys i did my own nails like these are jelly tip nails from kiera sky and i am obsessed so far they're very long and i don't usually go for stiletto i usually go for coffin but they only had stiletto left in stock because everyone's been buying out the coffin so yeah anyways i'm really happy with how they look but yeah that seems to have soaked in very well very hydrated of course i would need to keep trying it to give you my full opinion on it but so far feels really nice on the skin so of course i'm going to top that with the magic cream as well now this i have used a few times and it is such a very rich thick cream so i only need a tiny bit because i do have oily skin but i do feel like the charlotte tilbury skin stuff is more aimed towards mature or drier skin if you know what i mean they're very hydrating very plumping anti-aging all of that stuff okay so now that the skin is prepped i'm gonna go in and prime now this is by shishado it's called the poreless matte primer and it comes in this little scoop squeeze tube so i'm just gonna put some onto my kind of oily areas it feels very nice and silky but then it's like getting tacky as it's drying down that seems to be a very nice primer i would definitely use that again i love the way it's kind of soaked up my oils and it feels really lightweight on the skin it doesn't feel like super dry and tight i've pulled out the kvd vegan beauty true portrait liquid to powder foundation now i've wanted to use this for the longest time but it is medium coverage so every time i'm like nah i'd rather go full coverage with my other stuff but I'm gonna try it because it's meant to have a matte finish. It is very liquidy, so you do need to shake it well before you use it. And I'm using the shade Tan 74, which looks like that. And this is the bottle, by the way, super cute, but you're meant to like squeeze it from this part here because the rest of the bottle is like plastic and then this part is squeezy. I'm just gonna squeeze some of it out. It does claim to be a medium coverage, so I'm not expecting tons of coverage. And I'm gonna blend that in. Seems to be a good shade for me. Do you know what? That coverage isn't too bad. I was super ex- Ooh, this is blending nice. Sorry, but why is this looking like it's full coverage? Like even that angry spot that I had right there is covered. Not 100% covered, but covered enough for me. They said it's medium, but my God, I think compared to their first foundation, which is just like out of this world coverage, this would probably be considered medium. But to a normal person, this is full coverage. And it's so lightweight on the face and it just kind of like blends into your skin. Oh my God. I am actually shocked guys, because I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been putting off using this foundation for months because I thought I was gonna hate it, but pleasantly, very pleasantly surprised next i'm gonna go in and test my new purchase that i picked up recently is the melt cosmetics gemini palette i haven't used this yet but oh my god how pretty i think i'm gonna go for a green look today because the neutrals are just like mm, you know i'm gonna prime my eyes with the be perfect eyeshadow base okay i'm gonna start with the darker green called leo okay and leo i'm gonna tap all onto the outer edge whoa pigment also guys do you know if the muerte palette is coming back or if that was limited edition because i really hope i didn't miss out on it also i saw the 420 palette and those yellows they're like mustardy deep orangey yellows i really want to get that one as well but i don't know if that's going to come to beauty bay because it is a limited edition palette i believe so i'm not sure if i can get my hands on that but melt is really attracting me even though this is the first time i'm trying their formula in terms of color stories really attractive the way the pigmentation of this is going i feel like it's one of those palettes you don't need to start with the darker color if you don't want to i feel like they're mattes that will build on top of each other nicely okay so i'm gonna go into this kind of what is this like an olivey yellow type of color it's called moochie i'm gonna take this and blend out the dark green on the edges right here just gonna blend that up by the brow bone 
as my kind of transition color yeah that dark color is diffusing beautifully into the crease like there's no harsh light it hasn't stuck to one area it's just blending out nicely I love greens lately I'm so into it gonna go back in with a dab of that dark color and just deepen it up even more I'm even going to take a dab of this green here which is slightly lighter than the first one that I use and just gently blend that into the crease. Okay, going to take my NYX Glitter Glue to prime for the shimmers on my lid. Okay, so there's only two shimmers in this palette and I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to start with the green on the center and then I'll use this one on the inner corner. So the green is called Goals. Okay, so this is quite hard pressed into the pan. It's not one of those but it still picks up beautifully on the brush gonna pat that onto the center of the eye that's a gorgeous green oh is green becoming my favorite color because to be honest with you i can't get enough of it so even though it's not one of those super fallout type of i don't know how to explain it you know when you dip into a shimmer and it kind of kicks up it's not one of those shimmers but it still picks up beautifully onto the brush and applies beautifully onto the eyes now i'm going to take the other shimmer in the palette which is this one here called gemini it's like a gold kind of it is more crumbly than the green so I am getting more fallout with it, but it's fine. It still looks gorgeous on the eyes. Taking a small dab of that dark green, blending it into the green shimmer. Guys, I am so happy with that eye look. I cannot explain to you. The shimmers are gorgeous and reflective and popping and the mattes blended beautifully, very pigmented. I am super happy with my purchase and based on this first impression trying Melt Cosmetics, I definitely will keep looking into the brand. Hopefully I can get my hands on the Muerte palette or the 420 or maybe both. I don't know, we'll see what happens on beauty bay moving on we're gonna try a new concealer i picked this up from beauty bay as well and this is the stay woke oma beauty brightening concealer now i was trying to pick my shade online and you know how that goes so i picked up the shade honey honey because i wanted something to brighten but also cover underneath my eyes but i think i went too light but we're here now so this is the shade oh my god it just looks it looked so yellow toned on the website so i thought it was like a yellow tone type of you know under eye concealer that i usually use this is not honey this is not the shade of honey this is like beige so i mean why is it called honey honey anyways we're just gonna try it out and hopefully it's not too oh my god it's so bright guys we're just gonna use a little bit of it okay i'm gonna take my sponge and blend that out underneath my eyes so far it looks very full coverage though yeah that has blended out beautifully and the coverage is amazing but because it's so light it's throwing me off I feel like i like the formula if it was a little bit darker, I would love it. Seems to be drying down matte, but I don't know if that's the foundation underneath it or if that's the actual formula. I could use it as a mixer concealer, so mix it with a deeper concealer and this, and then I could, you know, balance it out. But by itself, it's just too light. But the formula seems to be really nice. It seems to have dried down and it seems to be really full coverage, which I really like. So as a formula, I like it as a shade. I just, I did wrong. I did it, I did wrong. So I have new bronzers from Fenty Beauty. These are the cream bronzers. I have the two darker shades i believe so there's chocolate and then there is toffee teas and this is how the packaging looks like just like the bronzer but it says cream on it so this is the shade of toffee teas which is too deep for me but let me com uh, compare it to the huda beauty and these are the two colors together let me swatch them so this one is huda beauty and then this one is fenty beauty so huda beauty tan and fenty beauty teas what is this called toffee teas toffee teas Huda Beauty Tan. Okay, and this is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in medium. This is the one that I use. And then we have Chocolate from Fenty Beauty. So these seem to be very, very similar in shade. So this is Chocolate Fenty Beauty Huda Beauty Medium. So I mean, they are slightly different. Huda Beauty seems to be a bit warmer, whereas Fenty Beauty seems to be a bit deeper and cooler. So yeah, that is the comparison. Let's just go ahead and try Fenty Beauty Chocolate on my cheeks. They did also send over a brush. This is the face shaping brush and it is kind of like a um, ambled okay angled kabuki brush and put that onto yeah that seems to be cool toned from what i can tell this is a lot more cooler tone than the huda beauty one i really like the huda beauty one because it's so warm and it gives me that bronze this is giving me more contour it's not super pigmented either so you can kind of work with it 
so far the pros are it's easy to blend easy to work with not too pigmented so you can build it up and you can also start sheer the only con for me is the color is super cool toned it's giving me contour but i don't really contour nowadays i like the warmth i like the glow you know do you see what i mean it's not bad it's definitely not a bad product and i probably will use it again but if i run out of my huda beauty and this and i need to repurchase one i would probably go for the huda beauty because of the color and the warmth that it gives my face the cream Cream blushes are smaller than the uh, bronzers. So the bronzers are like the normal standard bronzer size and then the cream blush is like super tiny, very mini. I have 10 colors here and they range from purple to like, you know, pinky, reddish, orangey colors, tons of colors here. I am so intrigued by the purple. Like I've seen an orangey blush before. I've seen a pinky blush before. I ain't never seen a purple blush and I'm really curious to know how this will come off on the face. So it does come out purple and I'm gonna dab that on. Yeah, I thought so. On the face, it comes out pink. Pinkish purple mauve type of color. It's not really flattering on me, to be honest. Maybe if I had like a pinky purple eye, it would go a bit more. But yeah, just like I thought, really sheer. You can easily build it up. Blends out really nice, just like the bronzer. Okay, so I've cleaned off my brush as much as I can. I'm gonna go into Daiquiri Dip now, which is the red one. And I'm gonna put this, woo, this one got a bit more pigment, girl. This one's, woo okay yeah this one's definitely got more pigment than the purpley one okay now i look a bit like a bloody clown it's fine i'm gonna dab it on and then blend it out with my uh foundation brush oh it's still keeping its color even though i'm dabbing over it with my foundation brush this is nice i like this formula of cream blusher really easy to work with but you can still see the color there yeah i really like that i would definitely use that again so the cream blushes are definitely a go i'm gonna set my face now so we'll see if you can still see the blusher after i've set my face i have this nars light reflecting setting powder i don't think i'm gonna bake or anything today I'm just gonna gently set my face with a brush and I'm just gonna gently press that underneath the eyes and set the areas that I want to set. It's a really lightweight powder. It kind of feels like um, those HD powders, like a very lightweight powder. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line with the same greens that I put in the crease. And make this into a beauty spot because to be honest with you, it's getting on my nerves. It's a beauty spot, okay? <laughs> also, while I was off camera, I put on the Revolution Pro Pigment Pomade in the shade Lemon Yellow. I don't think they do these anymore but it's basically just like a colored gel pomade type of thing i put it on my lower lash line and my lower lashes but speaking of revolution i also have their new bronzer this is the revolution pro sculpting bronzer in the shade in robe loads of you have been asking me to test their cc cream type of thing but it is for dry skin and it is very uh, moisturizing so it's not for me unfortunately so i won't be spending my money on it because revolution's not doing pr at this time because of um you know everything going on so i did go ahead and pick this up myself but i thought there's no point me picking up the cc thing because i know i'm just not gonna like it i don't like moisturizing hydrating foundation products it's just not for me but the bronzer i thought i could give a go because they do come in deeper shades so i think they have like five or six different colors by the way the packaging is gorgeous very high end very luxe like this is giving me jouet type of vibes um so like i said this is the second darkest shade they do have one deeper than this don't know if we're gonna be able to see it over the cheap products i already have on in terms of the bronzer contour oh yeah i can see it there it's very warm tone but that's good i like that so far from what i can see it seems to be a good shade for me um i would need to try it again possibly on a normal day where i don't have cream bronzer cream blusher everything like that but from what i can see it's definitely warming up my outer complexion so so far so good it's blending out beautifully as well like it's not patchy it hasn't stuck to one area so far so good i will definitely keep trying this now last but not least we're gonna do lips i have the kvd what are these called vinyl lip creams and i have these shades here i'm probably gonna go for this one because it's like a peachy toned nude i'm gonna start with the revolution lip liner in glory just to define my lip and now i'm gonna take these lipsticks the only thing is it does still say they came out recently but it does still say kat von d on it so i'm curious to see how their branding is gonna look now that she has oh this smells so sweet and delicious. 
oh that is a definitely my type of color but that has blended together beautifully that is a gorgeous shade very hydrating they are lip creams so i don't think they're gonna dry down but that is a gorgeous this saves me putting lip gloss on top you know i usually do lip liner lipstick and then lip gloss on top but this is saving me from doing lip gloss because it's giving me the shine but also the color that i like okay guys so that was everything i wanted to test today i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes these are the huda beauty lottie lashes and then i'll come back to you with my final thoughts okay guys my back so here we have the final look what do you think i am super happy with how this has turned out the foundation is a go i feel like i will use that all the time i love the finish of it i feel like i didn't need to set majority of my face today only like kind of the center of my face everywhere else is still kind of matte even with the cream fenty beauty products on top of it the gemini eyeshadow palette by melt cosmetics i am obsessed with i love this green eyeshadow look like i said if you like greens you like yellowy mustard colors i feel like you will not be disappointed how However, I did mention a dupe um, of the color scheme in my last video, I think it was. The concealer, like I said, I love the formula of, but because of the shade, I'm gonna have to mix it with other concealers to get the shade that I want. But I love the fact that it dried down. I love the coverage of it. So far, the concealer is a go. The bronzer from Fenty Beauty, the cream bronzer, like I said, the color's not, mm, not my favorite, but I definitely will use it again. Same with the cream blusher. I really like that. I can still see it on my face. It's giving me a really nice flush of color. The only thing I'm not 100% sure on is the powder. Powder. I don't feel like it's going to be my top favorite. I tend to like powders that are brightening underneath my eyes, nice and you know, mattifying. This one's more kind of lightweight, more kind of you know, just set the face and go type of powder. It's not one of those brightening banana type of baking powders that I tend to go for. Everything else I will definitely use again, and I'm glad I've got it in my collection. Oh, yeah, the Revolution Pro bronzer as well. Really glad that I have this. Gives a really nice glow and a warmth to the skin. But yeah, guys, that is it from me. Let me know your thoughts on this look and all of the products that I tried and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.